Hello and welcome to the short vort on Parsha Shmini from Ravi to Hamishi. In this week's Parsha, we have the celebration of the inauguration of the Mishkan in the desert, of the tabernacle. However, this is marred by the sudden and tragic death of two sons of Aaron, Nadav and Aviyu, in the Mishkan. A few seconds later, we get to Ravi, and there it says that Moshe called to speak El Aaron Bel Lazar Bel Isamar Banav Hanosa Rim. That Moshe called to the remaining sons of Aaron, to El Lazar and Isamar. Rashi says the word Nosarim teaches a lesson that they also were scheduled to die as punishment for Aaron's involvement in the Egel Hazav and the Golden Calf. However, because Moshe intervened and was Mispala and he prayed for them, he succeeded in saving half of his sons. In Sefer's Nain Latorah, Rav Suratskin does an analysis and he says that Nosarim is the lesser of two equals, and these sons were considered lesser than the ones who actually passed away, because in reality, Nadav and Aviyu were tremendous Sadiqim. And if you check uh, to last year's short vort, as well as other sources, you'll see and hear what their proper intents were, even though it led to tragedy. And uh, even the next words of the Pasuk says, HaMincha no seres me ishe Hashem, that the Mincha, that's the leftover part, not the primary part of it, but a small part of it, so that's also the language of no seres. Rav Sarutskin asks, he says, a few Pesukim before, that was in Perak Yud, Pasuk Yud Beis, but in Perak Yud, Pasuk Vav, that was the first time that Moshe called to Aaron and his sons after the tragedy. And over there, the language is, Vayomer Moshe el Aaron l'lizama banav, he called them his sons. It doesn't say banav hanosarim. Why not say no sarim by the first time that they survived after the tragedy? So Rav Sarabskin answers that at the earlier point in Pasuk Vav, it was still inconclusive. It was not yet known whether these two would survive. However, once they listened to the commandment that Moshe gave them in that Pasuk, then they would survive. And the proof that they listened is Vayasu Kidvar Moshe. Once they were survivors, the next time we refer to the two sons, then we call them Hanusarim. So thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful, wonderful Shabbos and a wonderful week.